Esta es quizás una de las fotografías más icónicas y fue publicada en junio de 1985 en la revista National Geographic. Son ya 30 años de que Steve McCurry inició su carrera en Afganistán. Thank you very much for the interview and welcome to this gallery in Mexico. So, uh, you're presenting this, uh, this exhibition, but the very first image is that one of the Afghan girl. What was that encounter like 30 years ago? picture of the Afghan girl I think changed my life. It's a picture which is known all over the world. It's a picture I'm asked about virtually every day of my life. And, uh, but the picture really resonates with people. They, some people have drawn inspiration from it. Uh, people often uh, went to work in the refugee camps inspired by that, that picture. So I think it's been a, a very positive photograph. Uh, I think it has helped her life, certainly helped my life, and I think National Geographic benefited from the picture as well. I'm asking you this uh, far beyond the anecdote because it also turns out to be some sort of decalogue or decree as how to approach photography being there at the precise time, just like Cartier-Bresson said. Yeah. <laughs> what was your approach? <laughs> um, you know, you practice enough over the years and shoot so many pictures that it becomes sort of second nature. You're almost an automatic pilot. Uh, you uh, establish a rapport with somebody and you just simply uh, uh, be natural and, and go with the flow. Uh, I think when I was photographing this young girl, uh, I was so, uh, my mind was so centered around getting the light right um, and, and she looked into my lens and my only job was to click the shutter. How do you manage to work this photojournalism? Yeah, well I've always wanted to be in the middle of important events. Uh, certainly a country in, uh, in, in, in transition or in civil war or um, where you have two sides locked in a kind of a death struggle. I mean, this is a, it's, it would be like photographing um, World War II or some epic battle. Uh, I, 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 I think um, these kind of stories we need to know about. I think we, people need to be informed and we need to, journalists, to, uh, we need to uh, educate people on what's happening in the world today.